Welcome back to another episode. So today I'm going to talk about SEO versus social media advertising and pay-per-click campaigns. Which is it? What should you focus on as a website owner? Especially if you just started your website, which is the going to give you the most benefit and the most traffic, you know, um, to your website. Now, is it search engine optimization? You know, SEO is something that I'm very passionate about. I think it's something that you as a website owner should definitely focus on. But it takes time. It's not going to happen overnight. It's not going to happen in, a, in you know, a week or even a month. You got to commit yourself to generating high quality content that people are going to want to read, link back to, and share it with their friends and family on social media. So is it social media advertising? Is that the answer? Now, Social media advertising is, you know, relatively new over the past couple of years and it's come a long way. You know, it's a good way to get some immediate traffic to your website, you know, when you just start off or if you have a website that's not really getting that much traffic. Uh, the beauty of it is that social media ads are not really that expensive. You can get your your articles or your, you know, your pages viewed, you know, on Facebook or Twitter or any other of the social media platforms that have advertising. You can, for ten twenty dollars, you can get a lot of views. So now, should you just focus on social media ads? You know, I really don't think you should. I think you should have social media advertising as part of your strategy because you want to seed traffic to your site. You want to generate initial interest into what your um, what your website's about and let the world know that your site exists. Well, what about pay per click campaigns like you know Google AdWords and uh, you know some other types of um, advertising campaigns you can do those are definitely beneficial as well because if you go you know on to Google and you put in a phrase of whatever it is you work you're looking for you're gonna see the organic results and you're gonna see some advertising towards the top towards the side and towards the bottom of the uh, of the results page so people will see your ads and you can get your way to page one on day one with advertising so maybe that's the way to go I think it's definitely a good approach to do some advertising with Google, you know, initially because it'll give you that initial traffic. My belief is this, websites are extremely important. You know, billions of people are searching online every single day. And you know, the trend is not going down, the trend is going up. If you look at some statistics, more and more people are, you know, going online. And the, you know, the issue of, is it, you know, a tablet or a smartphone or a laptop or desktop, you know, it's no longer one or the other. It's everything combined. So you want to make sure that your website performs well. So my advice to website owners is if you need to generate some good traffic to your website, you definitely should do some social media advertising. You know, look at Facebook, look at Twitter, look at, look at LinkedIn, you know, and see what their offerings are. Instagram is really good for advertising. And really, Instagram advertising is one of the only ways to get, you know, good traffic to your site from Instagram because you really can't embed a link in there, right? You could put it in the top of your profile page and you have to ask people, look, check out my bio. Or you can advertise and then you get to put a link in. So, you know, they're very smart with that. But social media advertising is definitely a good strategy to get you some initial traffic. They have some good analytics where you can see what's working, what's not. You can do some A-B testing. And also, you know, Google AdWords and other type of pay-per-click campaigns, you know, are good strategies as well because they, they deliver your ads to uh, relevant search results. So that's good. But it's not your only strategy. Again, I'm a big fan of SEO. I'm a big fan of search engine optimization. And I know that in the long run, it, it establishes you as an authority. Now, why is that? Um, if you just build out a website, give it a bunch of static pages, and just uh, pump a lot of money into advertising, you know, you're going to get traffic, of course. But if you're not adding fresh content consistently to your site, eventually, you're not providing anything new anything fresh. So if you have a good SEO strategy, you're going to see that over time, you're going to rank well organically in the search engines. And then people are going to start sharing your content on Facebook. Now that's more powerful than advertising. Why? Because people, people hate to be sold to, but people love to buy. So if a person loves to buy, how do they buy? Well, if somebody refers your website to them or if a person refers your content to them they're more likely to review that than if they just see an advertisement i mean the stats are are real the details are real 
80 to 90 percent of the people searching online will trust an organic uh, search result versus an advertisement. That means that being on page one and being shared, you know, on somebody's profile or, or on somebody's page or group in our social media platform is more powerful than the ads themselves. So again, I think that a combination of the two, SEO, long-term strategy, social media advertising, and of course, pay-per-click as well, can definitely generate you know, good traffic to your website. The key thing is to make sure you're analyzing the traffic. See, you know, what, what pages are bringing people in? You know, what pages are people bouncing off your site from very quickly? Because those are metrics that you want to, you know, gauge over time. And over the course of the upcoming videos, I'll show you some ways to do that. How to measure your bounce rate, how to measure your time on site to see, you know, what people are really gravitating to. And that is something that takes time, but it's worth it. You know, SEO in the long run, you know, is definitely more valuable in my eyes, you know, than just doing advertising. People have a way to tune out ads, you know, so the benefit of it is there because you'll get the initial traffic and the world will know you exist, but it's not going to be as valuable long term or it might just be more expensive. Now, what about hiring an SEO agency to do the work for you in terms of generating the content, promoting your content, things of that nature? Now, if you have a budget, that makes sense, right? So if you have a couple of dollars you want to you know, throw into an SEO campaign, you're going to hire an SEO agency, you want to make sure that their tactics are good. You know, you don't want to, you know, pour good money down, you know, into a bad type of company that's going to give you some tactics that are maybe get you to rank well today, but, you know, will hurt your site in the eyes of Google once they catch what, what's taking place. But there are some good SEO agencies that'll, you know, take your website, they'll give it an audit to see what issues are on your site, what performance issues, optimization, you know, what can be fine-tuned, you know, on the foundational part, and then they'll start maybe generating some content. But be prepared to spend good money because any good SEO agency is going to, you know, require that you create high quality content, that you optimize the articles and the pages for the user first and then the search engines. And then they're going to go do a whole entire promotional campaign where they're letting the world know that a new article you created exists. So how much does it cost? Every agency is different. Some cost more than others. Do your research, but definitely, you know, it's some, an option if you have the budget for it. If you're a do-it-yourselfer, if you're a person that, you know, wants to take control of your whole entire, you know, online strategy, then definitely you can do that. I, I do it, you know, myself, and I definitely um, advise a lot of people on how to do it. And you can. I mean, you can definitely carve out your niche and let the world know you exist. But you have to realize it takes work. You got to create the content. You got to promote the content. You got to structure it. You got to analyze the data. There's a lot of work that goes into it. But to recap on this conversation, social media advertising, definitely good you know, to focus on in the beginning. Pay-per-click campaigns are definitely good as well. But SEO is the best in the long run. All right. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and we'll give you some more tips and tricks on SEO, WordPress, and how to promote your website online. Thanks for watching. Take care.